Hey guys, what's up? Uh, quite a while ago I said I had, um, I had quite a few things to say um, about this uh, modern dishwasher that we have here in the house in Connecticut. And basically that's what I'm going to do uh, for you here today. Now this is not going to be an operation video. I am just here to basically talk about all the things about this dishwasher that you know I really don't like and um, some of the cosmetics and what I personally know about some of the operations of it. And then we're going to look at the owner's manual so I can show you some information about some things. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. So you know, this is your typical modern stainless steel door dishwasher, okay? And you know, one of the first things that you probably take notice of is, you know, where's the controls for it? Well, you know, nowadays there's this uh, modern thing where, you know, showing the controls in the front are no good. Of course, nowadays they're here on top of the door, and as you can see, here they are right here. You know, n n never mind that the fact that having them on the front was more convenient, and there's Lady, um, was more convenient, you know, um, it's all got to be about, you know, looks now, about looks nowadays, because, you know, if you have the controls here on the front, you know, that's just going to ruin everything, going to be totally outrageous, you know, it's going to cause human sacrifices, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria, but enough, you probably get the point. Anyway, and if you notice on the top of the control panels here, Okay, you have these options here to let you know, I'm, not, I'm sorry, indicators to, to let you know what the machine is doing. Well, for the most part, you can't even see that because they're underneath the counter here, which is, which is right underneath here, okay? But one thing that they did do at least was they gave you a little indicator light here. Now, this indicator light doesn't just let you know that it's on. It does change color accordingly. Uh, as to for, as for what the machine is doing, um, if it's blue, that means it's either washing or rinsing. If it's red, that means it's drying. And when it turns white, that means that the cycle is complete. So I mean, at least they gave you that, you know, sort of. I guess that kind of helps a little bit. One thing I will give this dishwasher, though, um, thankfully, is that you know, it's not the kind. There's lady again. It's not the kind that you know you put the cabinet paneling over the door, okay? That's one of the stupidest things I've ever seen of because it's like, you know, if you're so ashamed that your dishwasher is showing, don't get a dishwasher, okay? Because I think it's just so stupid that, you know, you put the cabinet paneling over the door, but look, you still got the oven and you still got the refrigerator, so it's like, uh, yeah, it really saves you a lot. So that's some pretty stupid things about, um, that they were doing with that, okay? And, uh, let's just say hi to Lady. Lady. <laughs> and um, let's go ahead and have a look at the options once more. Okay. Now I'm just going to tell you right now. See that one hour wash? That's a little red flag right there. I'm going to tell you what that is about in a little bit, okay? And it got these fancy names, you know, Precision Dry. It's like, you know, that's heated dry. You don't have to get fancy with the names. You're starting cancel buttons. Okay. And obviously, one of the first things you notice is, is that when you, let me close it is that when you open the door, okay, you have these fancy LEDs that come on. Now, of course, um, it claims to be a stainless steel interior, okay? Now, is it Chinese stainless steel or is it real stainless steel? And what I mean by that is Chinese stainless steel will rust. I'm sure many of you have seen JK18's grill. That's like the perfect example of Chinese stainless steel. But, and real stainless steel won't do that. Hopefully, like, hopefully something like, like, like the Speed Queen washing machine has that. And, um... You know, um, from what I can see, so far no problems, so you know, I will give it that. Uh, it has your typical, you know, dish rack, and you can use glasses or dishes up here. We tend to use glasses on this rack. And look at this. This has this, like, this, like, little weird tiny top rack, okay? I will admit, this is this has come handy for stuff like pizza cutters and things like that, or maybe some pie, pie cutters, but, you know, aside from that, we usually just put them in there. But the pizza cutter fits in here well, so I will give it that, but... And, you know, this is one of those dishwashers where, you know, it has to be, like, whisper quiet when it runs. In fact, the only thing that makes the most noise on this dishwasher is when it's filling and when it's draining. And that's another thing I want to talk to you about, okay? This dishwasher, when it drains, it, it doesn't just do a continuous, regular drain, okay? The way it does is, it, you know, has a separate drain pump like the Triton XL in the, in the Long Island house. It drains a little bit of water and then stops. Then drains a little bit more water, and it stops again. I think it does this for like, you know, four to five times before finally realizing, oh, let's just get all the water out. Then it does a continuous drain. The reasoning behind that, I don't know what the hell the reasoning is behind that at all. To me, that just doesn't make any sense. And again, like the whole whisper quiet operation, you know, seriously, that's just extremely stupid. I will admit, 
I can't hear it somewhat when I'm sitting at the iMac over there. But, you know, um, for the most part, it's like, you know, if you have people around, you're never going to hear this thing run. And I think that's just so boring, honestly. It really just doesn't make any sense. Now, one more thing on the controls is, um, let's see. You know, it's electronic control. You just simply hit something and see it lights up. And you can see one hour wash and precision dry are all selected. And then the way you turn this on is you, you hit start and just close the door and it does what it has to do. You know, uh, you know, I will give it this, okay? It does what it's supposed to. Does this machine wash our dishes and our glasses and utensils? Yes, it does. It does do the job, okay? The, the stuff we've run through here has been completely spotless, nice and shiny, everything. So I will admit it does do the job, okay? And what we use with the dishwasher is um, these little, you know, Cascade Platinum Packs that, um, that seem to do pretty well, you know. Now, I'm not advertising for Cascade here. I'm just saying this is what we use, you know, probably helps along with, um, with how the machine has to operate. And you probably just heard Lady Meow right there at the end. But anyway, so the way, we, the way we've been running this machine is, um, I'll let it turn on again. Okay. One hour wash and precision dry. That's all we use, okay? Yes, it's a faster cycle, but the fact of the matter is, this used to be a normal time for a cycle. Now, this is a fast cycle, and we're going to get to that soon in the owner's manual. And like I said, we've been using these two options, and like I said, yes, it does wash everything that it has to, okay? Which is good. But unless you use this option, it's like it's pointless to have this, and I'll show you why in a bit. But I will, like I said, these two options do do, do do the job, and I'm happy with it, all right? So, when they just went in right there, so. All right, let's get to you. Um, actually, no, you know what? I have one more thing I want to show you guys. Okay, now this next issue here is actually not, not Gen Air's fault. This is actually, um, what do you call it? This is a, uh, a fault on the builders, okay? Now, do you notice how these, um, how these blue PEX lines for the cold water are, okay? And you can see, you know, the red one for the hot water going to the dishwasher. Okay, now why does this look like this? Well, when, we, when, I, when I came to this house again in, <clears throat> I'm going to say like the middle of 2016, um, when the plumbing was installed, um, I saw just the hot water line go straight up, and the cold water line had the thing going to the right. And I, I, was, I was asking the guy, I was like, what is that for? And he says, oh, that goes to the dishwasher. Wait a minute, you're telling me the cold water goes to the dishwasher? Yes, and I'm like, no, change that. That makes no sense. And he's like, you know, well, you know, uh, modern dishwashers heat up the water, so you don't have to use hot water. Okay, first of all, if anything, a vintage one is going to heat up the water more than a modern one because they actually use what they have to to get your dishes clean without all these extra features, okay? Now, let's also think about that for a minute, okay? Let's say he's correct. The dishwasher does heat up the water as it's running. Okay. Now, how does it do that? It does that by an electric coil. That means you're going to be using more electricity, and somehow that's efficient, right? Okay. Because when you have the hot water going to the dishwasher, the, di the dishwasher water is, for the most part, already heated. And any heating it has to do is like a fraction of the time. So your dishwasher is going to run for a shorter time, therefore, and also using less electricity to heat the water. Now, of course, if you use your hot water, obviously your water heater will have to work to maintain that water temperature, but we have a gas water heater. And, and as far as I know, using gas to heat your water is far more powerful and more efficient than using electricity. So somehow they got this claim saying that, you know, yes, this dishwasher will work well, but, as long, but it has to heat the water every time it refills. So by the time the, the water is already heated for, in the dishwasher, okay, it's going to drain the water out, then reintroduce cold water into the machine again, which it has to run longer for to heat up, and especially in the final rinse, because the final rinse, it heats the water for sanitization. Remember the three-step uh, for washing dishes? You wash, you rinse, and you sanitize. So that sanitization process is going to run for a lot longer because it has to heat the water up to the right temperature before it will advance through. So yeah, somehow using cold water was more efficient. Give me a break. I told the guy no, changed it, and he did. You can see we got hot water going to the dishwasher now. And that's the way it should be. So some of these people are just crazy, I tell you. Alright, now let's go to the owner's manual because I want to show you some things right there. Okay, and over here at the owner's manual, these are some things I want to show you. First of all, you got the green leaf thing right there. Okay. Go ahead and read that. And you can pause the video if you want. 
So it's saying that efficient dishwashers run longer to save water and energy. Okay. And it's saying, you know, driving a car slower saves on gas. Well, that can depend on a number of things. You know, 90% of cars are automatic transmissions. And most of the time, when, you're run, when you drive slower, it tends to be in a, in a lower gear, which means higher engine RPM. More gas savings? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Here's what we normally use, okay? One hour wash. And on all soil levels, it runs typically from 58 minutes, these are all in minutes by the way, 58 minutes to 64 minutes. Let's go in the middle and just say 60 minutes, okay? One hour. And it says precision dry tends to add 27 to 35 minutes to the cycle. Let's go towards the middle again and say 30 minutes, okay? So our, the one hour wash that we use with heated dry is about an hour and a half. Now I'll, be, now I'll be honest, I don't know how long the Triton XL runs or, you know, Jay's Vintage Whirlpool dishwasher with the mechanical timer, how long that was, how long that runs, but you know, an hour and a half, it really isn't all that bad when you have a heated dry, okay? Now let's take a look at some of these other options here, okay? This refresh rinse, all right? Um, let's see, so this is basically like an, a rinse only cycle or, or like rinse and hold that you see in some older dishwashers. Look at this, 17 to 20 minutes. When has a rinse only cycle ever run for 20 minutes? Our Triton XL runs for, I don't know, seven to 10 minutes. So, you know, this is just um, real energy savings right here. Again, this makes no sense. And um, here's what people would normally use. Now, I don't pre-rinse dishes. I get off food scraps and everything, but pre-rinsing, no. This is called a dishwasher, people, not, not a dish rinser, okay? So, so for your normal wash, Let's let's put mine in the heavy portion. Let, let's go for uh, let's see hundred let's see hundred twenty minutes. That's two hours. Let's say um, let, let, let's go to one sixty. So typically about it's going to take two hours and and forty minutes to do a wash. I, I'm sorry. How is that efficient? You're running for two hours and forty minutes to do a wash. Yet somehow that's efficient. Can someone clue me in on that? Okay, because again, that just makes no sense whatsoever. And I also want to remind you guys that um, all these minutes are without options, as it says right there. So what I just told you, if you use heated dry, well, it's on the other side, I'll show it to you a bit. If you use heated dry, it's going to run longer than that, okay? <clears throat> now, now take a look at this right here. Um, cookware, bakeware, that can also be called heavy wash if you want to be simple, okay? So without options... Uh, anywhere from 140 to 205 minutes, okay? Let's see, 120 is two hours, let's add 60 minutes to that, that's uh, 180. So yeah, well, yeah, 60 times three is um, 180. So if you use this and you use heat to dry, it's, that thing's gonna be, gonna, gonna be running over three hours, okay? Three hours. Again, somehow that's efficient. And you can just get the idea from everything else on this machine if you add options to it, okay? So now, this is without any options possible. Oh, look at this, okay? High temp wash, that means it makes the wash water hotter than what it currently is. Imagine using this with cold water in the machine. Yeah, that would be very efficient to use, right? Okay, it adds anywhere from, four, from let's say, three quarters of an hour, just to be simple, three quarters of an hour to an hour more to the wash time. To be fair, I don't know how much time that adds on Jay's Whirlpool dishwasher or the Triton XL dishwasher, but... Either way, it's going to be adding a significant amount more time to it, okay? Now let's go ahead to the other side here. There's a couple things I want to show you. All right, let's see what we got here. Precision dry, we already, um, we already um, talked about that. Okay, now look at this, guys, okay? There's this famous sani rinse, okay? That means sanitization rinse, okay? Your rinse already sanitizes the dishes, okay? It says it raises the water from... 140 to 155, something like that, okay? The final rinse is going to sanitize your dishes no matter what, okay? I don't know what you're doing with your... I don't know what you're doing with your dishes. I probably don't want to know about. But if you've got to use a sandy rinse, you're doing something very wrong, okay? Seriously. And, oh, this is the best right here, okay? Look at this. Steam finish, okay? Look at how much time it adds to the cycle. Okay? This is over an hour... Close to two hours. So the thing I said was going to run for probably three hours, okay? Let's see. Um, three hours, uh, let's see, add 60 minutes, that's four hours. This, is, this thing's going to run for over, like, four, close to four and a half hours, all right? 
with steam finish, a four and a half hour cycle. Uh, I'm sorry, four and a half hour, did I say, I'm sorry, whatever, a four and a half hour cycle. Okay? I just don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Somehow that's being more efficient. Again, you don't have to use this option. I'm just saying you can see how much it adds onto the cycle, which is just ridiculous. And again, sand rinse, very unnecessary, okay? The four hour delay, that doesn't really affect cycle time. That's just um, how long it begins, okay? And, you know, cancel, drain, start, all that good stuff. And uh, anyway, guys, there you have it, okay? I'm just going to show you here that, you know, you have the one-hour wash option, which is good, but just the fact that you have that option, like I said, is a red flag because that means anything else is going to is going to run for a long time. And that reminds me, actually, l l l l let me go back to the front here again. I almost forgot this. China Crystal, okay? On the Triton XL dishwasher, this is definitely a short, a shorter cycle, but on this one, okay, without options, mind you, anywhere from two hours to almost three hours, and that's without options. Somehow that's more efficient, running for three hours almost on a China Crystal cycle. I mean, seriously. It, it, I mean, does this even do these people even know what they're talking about? It's crazy. Anyway, guys, you get the idea. Um, I gave my thoughts about the dishwasher and my thoughts about all this wash time stuff, okay? I don't want to keep dragging on, but you get the basic idea of what I'm talking about, okay? Like I said, um, does it do the job? Yes, it does. But a lot of the stuff, a lot of the features that it has, I'm definitely not a fan of, okay? And that's why I wanted to show this stuff for you today, all right? Like I said, it washes stuff, yes. But does it have the best features? Not by a long shot at all. And of course, also long, long, longevity, you know? It's from 2016, so we'll see how long it lasts. Hopefully more than a few years. But I guess time will tell. All right, guys, there you have it. There's my thoughts on the 2016 modern Jenner dishwasher. And there's all the info I wanted to give on it, all right? So there you go. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.